Welcome back to the garden. This is Susie with the Secret Garden of Eden. I'm here today to teach you a trick to manifesting that I have seen work over and over again. And it's part of how I teach when I coach people as to what to do to be able to create the life. This is the secret nobody tells you about. It's the thing nobody wants to share because once you really get it, implement it, you don't need to search for answers anymore. You just do it. It's something that you're doing every day, all day long, 86,400 seconds a day. But until you learn how to do it the right way, it gets you messed up and caught and twisted so that you are an orange in an apple's body. The secret is in actuality aligning your imagination, your thoughts, and your words. You can't imagine what it's like to be married, think how happy it is to be married, and talk about how somebody won't even talk to you and expect to manifest something. But yet, that's what 90% of us do all day long. We imagine being married to somebody. We talk in our head to ourselves about being married to somebody. But we're afraid to speak it. We're afraid to actually use the words for fear that somebody's going to think, I'm crazy. Well, guess what? We are crazy. When we were in high school and we wanted to date a certain boy, we would literally say, that's my boyfriend. And somebody would go, oh, no, honey, he's dating so-and-so. And you'd go, that's my boyfriend. That's my boyfriend. And you would keep saying, that's my boyfriend. And your girlfriends would be like, oh, honey. And you'd be like, no, I'm going to prove it. And a week later, you'd be sitting there eating lunch with your girlfriends at school, and you would sit down at the table, and the boyfriend would walk up, and he'd sit down next to you, and you'd go, hey, guys, I want you to meet my boyfriend. And that's exactly what happens. You met your boyfriend. Because you weren't afraid at 16 to look like a fool in front of your friends and say, that's my boyfriend. But when you're an adult, you can't walk around saying, that's my boyfriend because he's not really your boyfriend yet. He's not really your husband yet. So if you say, I'm married and I'm happily married to this person, they're gonna go, oh yeah, honey, no, you're crazy. That's not really true. The thing is, there's an alignment that's out. And that alignment is simple. It is a click between your imagination, your thoughts, and your speech. If you're not imagining being happily married, if you're not thinking you're happily married, and you're not talking about how you're happily married, the three components to manifesting are gone. They're not there. They're not lining up. So it's a three-phase process. You have to imagine what you want, you have to think about what you want, and you have to talk about what you want. So when you are talking to your best friend and you're trying to get a specific person back, you have to tell your best friend, that's my boyfriend. That's my boyfriend. And if the best friend says, no, it's not, go, watch. I will prove it to you. That's my boyfriend. Start talking about them as the position you want. Because in reality, everything we have in our life, we name. We have a boyfriend, we have a car, we have a phone, we have a house, we have a job. If you are working at a job, you tell people, I work at this company and this is my position. If you have a car, you deem it a boy or a girl. This car that I have is a girl. She is amazing, but she hates the radio. Why? because that's the story I tell. My last car was a boy. He kind of rumbled, had a little bit of belly rub full with his muffler, and he drove really fast, and everything worked because guys like gadgets. So when you want a dog, you pick out the name for a dog and you name the dog. When you want 
a certain thing from a restaurant for dinner. You order it and you tell the waiter, I want a pizza. I want thin crust, Italian sausage, pepperoni, cut in squares. He brings you it out. You named it, you described it, and you spoke it. So you put all three of those components together because you thought from your imagination and you spoke it. So when you are creating and manifesting your words that you are telling your best friend, your parents have to line up. And if you can't tell them you are happily married to so-and-so, don't talk about it. But when you go home and you're standing in front of the mirror and you're brushing your teeth, you're talking to yourself anyways. So there's nobody around. Start talking to yourself as you're doing the dishes, as you're vacuuming the floor, as you're dusting the furniture, as you're driving the car, turn the radio off and start telling yourself, I'm happily married to so-and-so. I'm in an amazing relationship with so-and-so. Our relationship is amazing because he did this for me and he did that for me. Take the things that you liked from the relationship that you had with that person that you're trying to bring back into your life and start speaking it. Actually, physically say it. Don't just think it. Because the things that we truly create, we name and we talk about it. And we talk and talk and talk. And we tell everybody who will listen, my boyfriend sent me flowers. My boyfriend bought me dinner last night. My boyfriend came over and we watched Netflix. He actually watched a chick flick with me. But when we are sitting there telling our girlfriend that that person we love and want to be with is ignoring us, but we're thinking they're not, we're not messing up. And guys, I'm sorry, I'm a girl, so I'm saying it from a girl's perspective, but it's the same thing for you. You're out playing basketball with the guys. You're bowling. You're at the barbecue grill and you're barbecuing and you're talking about your girlfriend or your wife or your sister or your mother. It doesn't matter who it is. Every person in our life is a specific person. You're telling them that person is driving you nuts. They're driving you nuts. You're thinking, no, they're not. They're happy. They're loving. They're going to be nice to me. But you're still speaking. Your components have to line up. If they don't line up, you are creating chaos and it's taking longer for your manifestations to happen. So stop talking to people about the things you don't want. Only talk about things that you can publicly if you feel like you're going to be laughed at or joked about or they're going to be like, oh, Susie's crazy. Well, guess what? I am crazy, but I have a success rate that proves why my stuff works. You can't talk and keep telling your lunch work co-worker that you eat lunch with every day about how your boyfriend's doing this stuff that drives you crazy or your girlfriend's doing this stuff that drives you crazy and then mentally keep telling yourself every night, they love me. They want to be with me. They love me. They want to be with me. They love me. They want to be with me. Because 95% of your day, you are undoing every single one of those thoughts that you are trying to create an imagination to create the reality of the life you want. Start only verbally out loud recreating the things that you want. Everything that I have manifested in my life I talk about everything that I don't want in my life that I talk about stays in my life so line up your process your mental diet is imagining thinking and talking if you cannot tell your best friend or your mom what you're thinking stop talking about it stop because the more you talk about what you don't want, it undoes what you do want. And I can't stress it enough. I get so many messages a day. I'm imagining this. 
I'm monitoring my thoughts. But he's still doing that. You are saying X, Y, Z, but he's still doing A, B, C. That's exactly why you are getting what you are getting. Continue to speak only what you want. And then ask questions. Why is this working out for me? Why are there people I can talk about with this too? Name it, own it, think it, think about it as little or as often as you want. I don't care. But only, only, please, only tell people that you can talk to the things that you are creating. You're not crazy because the girl in high school, you didn't think she was crazy. You thought, gee, that girl gets any guy she wants. That guy gets any girl he wants because they're telling that story. The person I love loves me. They only want to be with me. They can't think about anybody else. And they don't care if they don't say their name. They don't care how it's said. They know in their head, they're thinking, my boyfriend only loves me. My boyfriend only wants to be with me. I am the world's greatest catch. They're saying it out loud to everybody who's willing to listen. So when you are scripting, when you are imagining, when you are doing the lullaby method, I don't care what method you use to manifest. I don't care what words you use to manifest. Speak it into existence is what really creates your manifestation. If you can't talk about it, you're never going to create it unless it is spoken out loud. I know this is a little bit of a rant. I'm really sorry, but I've had a bunch of messages today that have asked me the exact same question. It doesn't matter, again, if it is a specific person you're trying to manifest, $2.7 million in your bank account, the new car. If you keep saying it out loud, it will happen. I promise you, because everything we manifest, we speak into existence. I do hope all of you have an absolutely amazing, wonderful day. Much love. And thanks for listening to my little tirade today. Do apologize if it was a rant. Guys, remember, again, I'm a girl. I didn't mean to single you out. Love you all. Have a great day.